Hi everyone, it's Nicola. Thanks for clicking on this video. Before I start with this empties um, video for September, please do like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. But I've got so much here. Um, so I'm in a different place to where I usually film, but it's just because my daughter, she's only um, just over six weeks old now. She's having a nap where I usually film in my office. So I'm in our living room lounge area. And yeah, I've got so much stuff, so we're going to get through it. So grab yourself a drink if you want to, um, because yeah, it's going to be quite a long one, I think. Um, so I've got a selection of hair care, skin care, which is always my favourite part, body care. And I think that's about it. But yeah, skin care is always my favourite part. But yeah, there's lots in here. I did an empties last month for August, but I finished quite, not early in the month, but... I didn't go to the end of the month, so there's some bits here which have just overlapped slightly. So let's crack on, shall we? Um, not too exciting, but the first thing I've got here is a Hip Kins Kids Soap and Foamy Hand Wash with organic almond extract. It's really sensitive, really soft and lovely. You can get refills for this, so we did have a refill and we've used that up. Um, that was in a previous empties, and then this is the last one from the tub, obviously nice and friendly for the kids. Um, and you can pick them, the refills up and these actual hand wash plastic tubs, um, often in sale in Waitrose, which is where I pick these up. But I would, I'll keep hold of this and buy refills when I can. Um, I've got some body care bits and some hair care. Another thing for my daughter actually, oh, I've got another hand wash as well, I'll grab that after. Um, another thing that I've got here of my daughter's is by Organic Sprout, Lost the Cap. My um, son actually pulled it off and chucked it down behind the bed, which we've not pulled out yet. But this is called Miracle Detangler, just a hair detangling spray. And we get this from Trotters, which is a, um, it's quite a bougie, kids clothing range um in london and you can get shoes there and they also have just like some toys and uh, we pick this up in where they do the the hair cuts there as well so my son's had his hair cut there a couple of times but this was for my daughter and she really likes it and we've got a bigger size now um another hand soap is one i picked up from tk max this was 3.99 and this was the hand wash in Sicilian lemon, made in Italy, 500 mils. This was fine, had it in the kitchen. Um, do like TK Maxx hand soaps. Um, what else have I got? Lots and lots of bits. So let's get out these body care bits as well. Okay, some shampoo conditioner bits. I've got a 50 ml, this small size from Aveda shampoo, nurturing shampoo. I think I went through one last month, or maybe there's two in here, I can't remember. Um, that was fine, quite pleasant. Wasn't Isn't one that I'd rush out to buy necessarily, but I was quite happy to use it and it was fine, did the job. Um, nice and kind of sensitive one, I'd say. Then I've got this Live Proof Restore Conditioner, 236 mils, reverses dryness and damage for visibly healthier hair. So that's that. And this is quite fine as well. Um, I think I might have picked this up as an add-on in, in Fab, a FabFitFun box when I was subscribed, and I've just got you through that. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice enough. Quite expensive. And this is the first one I've tried of these eight second wonder waters. This is by L'Oreal Paris, their LV, is it LV? Color Protect. Um, the Mela Conditioner Shine Enhancer. Um, it says for shinier hair, feels up to eight times more hydrated, no way down, colored or highlighted hair. This was 200 ml, so they're full size and literally just as soon as you shampooed your hair you put this into the ends mid length um section of your hair just rub it in for eight seconds and then wash out 
So it's got, I wouldn't say oil, but that's the, you know, like those hot oils, that's what I'd compare it to. Um, and I really noticed a massive difference when I first started using that. And then afterwards, um, I feel I noticed it less. But I have got the orange version and there's a hyaluronic acid one, which I would like to try as well. But yeah, so that's those. Um, body care bits. This is from uh, Ladies and Beauty um, picks when I was subscribed with those. This is the Grace Cole Grapefruit Lime and Mint Luxurious Body Butter, 225 grams. I really liked the scent. Grapefruit is nostalgic for me. Um, reminds me of my dad always used to like those, um, oh, what is it called? Something sauce, you know, that you can um, get the mint shower gels or lime and grapefruit. He always used to like those kind of things. So yeah, this scent just reminds me of him actually, the kind of grapefruitness of it, which is nice for me. Um, when I've had this before, but a different um, smell, scent, the cap, when I'd squeeze it towards the bottom, would just pop off, and I didn't have that problem with this, so I did really enjoy that. I've got a couple of different variations, different scents to use up of that. But I'm no longer subscribed to um, Latest and Beauty. And the last um, couple that I did get from Latest and Beauty, the picks, I picked up, they had a um, Lush massage bar in after it's a magnesium massage bar these were great actually for pregnancy and kind of post postpartum just moisturizing i remember when i first started to use one of these it was when i was pregnant towards the end of my pregnancy and it really did help with muscle aches um so that was really great actually um so i these i got through them very quickly i have to say you know, so both of them essentially in, um, you know, a month, um, slightly over a month for one of them. Um, yeah, so really to like them, but they're, they're pricey really for how long they last. But that being said, it has made me consider picking them up in future when I need to. I've just recently bought a load of body lotion, so I don't need to now, but yeah, I would like to, I did like it. It's a bit of a faff, but actually it's a, they're decent. They're very moisturising and it's a nice kind of self-care experience, isn't it? <clears throat> this I got from a uh, latest, not latest, look fantastic. Um, one of the latest boxes. I'm not sure if it was even the September box. It might have been, I can't remember. Either that or the August one. This is the Rituals, the Ritual of Karma Hydra Boost Complex 48 Hour Hydrating Body Cream lotus flower and white tea and this is in 70 mils i wouldn't say it was like i noticed it was majorly hydrating but it was nice enough got for it quickly and i love rituals well another thing from rituals this is the ritual of sakura uh sensational foaming shower gel rice milk and cherry blossom 50 mils i believe i got through one of these last month i don't think there's another one here that's my favourite scent from the Rituals. The the foam shower gels, I think they're expensive for what they are because when you squirt them out, they're not like Imperial Leather where it's just instant foam. Um, so you have to foam, you know, wash and then they start to foam up. So it's a, I don't know how to, it's a bit of a weird sensation with these ones. They're not how you'd probably expect them. Um, and I think some people can be disappointed with that. I found that um, these don't travel well and they can be a bit tricky to store, especially for me with my toddler. Um, when he's rooting around, <laughs> when he gets the opportunity in my drawers. So I wanted to get these used up and not wasted because unfortunately he did get his hands on one previously. Oh look, there's that other Avidus. It was this month I used, went through two. So another 50 mil, 100 mil in total. So I've got lots of, through lots of stuff this month. Um, try and save all my skincare. I think it's the last bit. Uh, another hair product. This was the Pantene Pro V Miracle Strong and Long Biotin and Bamboo Keratin Reconstruct Mask. 
Um, so this is one, it just says apply to, uh, to the lengths of your hair and then wash through. So this one was also picked from Ladies and Beauty, I think, or maybe one of their CW edits or something. Smells nice. Typical kind of Pantene, nostalgic smell. Um, how much was this? 160 mils. Yeah, so it was fine. Did the job. Not more, anything more we need to say about that. So I don't know if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was fine. Uh, I'm just trying to get some last kind of showery bits. And then I think the rest actually is, is skincare. Which is great. I love my skincare bits the most. Okay, just kind of sorry the noise, trying to dig out all the last bits. So this one I believe was something I finished up just before I gave birth. This was the Clarity Blend Deep Forest Body Bath Oil Vetifer Fur Needle Black Pepper in 100 mils. This came in the boxes that don't exist anymore. They're called they were called um, Moi Mem Mem I think it was. It was a French name um but as you can see the packaging wasn't great um it was a fine enough oil i didn't like the smell i don't want to open it just to re it's quite greasy to smell it but it was kind of that mossy kind of forty smell but not in an amazing way so i, I used it um you know, to help with moisturising when I was pregnant, and my body was obviously stretching with stretch marks. Didn't do anything in terms of that. I think that's genetic, whether you get stretch marks or not. But I still wanted to try and just make sure I was being moisturised, yeah, as much as I could. And this uh, from Lush is the B Electro Kitchen Exclusive Shower Gel. Um, I can't really even remember this now. It says the zing of grapefruit sweeps you away to. Breakfast in Paris, wild rose petal infusion, and exotic jasmine sweeten your skin. Yeah, so for me, this just had a kind of I know it sounds really rubbish explanation. A kind of typical lush smell. Um, you know, I did smell the grapefruit and the rose actually. Not sure how well they go together. I've had better grapefruit smells and probably better rose smells um this had a very kind of lum luminous um green uh color oh what's that i'm trying to think of a sweet that it reminds me of what it smells like licorice it almost smells a bit licorice -y. but yeah that's that um, i'm going to keep hold of the bottle because if you collect enough you so is it yeah you, if you collect five of these items, you can bring it back for them to recycle and you can get a free um, face mask or I think 50p off each package and they'll um, take off your order. Another hair item, I've got the Way Leave-In Conditioner, 25 mils. I've got another one of these on the go. I do like these and I would purchase in a full size. I find towards the end it's very hard to get the last dregs out, but it's nice, decent. Um, leave-in conditioning spray which I use as a detangler um, my daughter got this light up bath bomb it says it was 250 I don't know if my husband paid that for her or not or if this was in the sale I think it might have been half price um, it's supposed to have like a little light up gem inside however that didn't work which is probably why they were being sold off cheap so we wouldn't recommend that one but she loves her bath bombs this we got from Star Starvana this is um, like a bath salts and it was like, I think it was honey cream and strawberry. But these are really nice actually and my daughter enjoyed them. Don't think these were the cheapest but I would pick them up. Just something different and they were nice. Oh, this is the Fussy Deodorant Refill and this was in wavy, wavy days I think. Yeah, so quite a sea salt fresh spray, um, deodorants, prefer these to wild, um, the wild ones I find very messy and even in the cartridge packaging, so um, I do still use wild and I've got some that I'm using up, but fussy for me, I've given a go and 
yeah, I quite like, probably prefer to wild, if I'm honest. And then I believe, yes, we are on to skincare, which is quite exciting. So what I'm gonna do is just try and put these into order of what things are like masks, moisturizers, serums, all of that jazz. For a bit of consistency, let's how about that? Oh, and I've got a very much got a favourite skincare product, which is exciting. Yeah, I really did get up, get through so much stuff, which is very exciting. I'm trying to get from I've got so much skincare, trying to get from this that is um, yeah, quite something. Um, one last bath bomb product which I had missed again from Salvana. This was like a um, little bath kind of tablet uh, fizzer. And just, I don't know what scent this was actually. Was it pear? Grapes? I don't know. And honey? Again, not really sure, but it's randomly got a um, lamb and a panda on. But my daughter enjoyed these. And actually, the colour. I think this was pink and it was very vibrant, but they're nice. They're not like, you know, some cheapy ones can make the skin very dry and not great, but that was decent. Okay, so skincare. I had a couple of samples. This was when we went for a short break. Um, this is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Micro Cleansing Foam. Just a couple of sachets, both 1.5 mils. So just got them through my stash and they were fine, they were good. That's those. A first cleanse of an evening. This is the Elemis Co Pro Collagen Water Mint Cleansing Balm, Super Cleansing Treatment Balm. I have another one, um, 100 mils, I think, which I got. Was it a mystery box when they did around New Year, Christmas time? Which is unfortunate because I was already getting through this at that point, I think. It took me forever to get through. It's nice. But for me, it's just not like the original. The original is a favourite. And I find that with Lizelle products, actually, where they do their limited edition um, cleanse and polish. They come out with scents, and I think, oh, I really want to try them. But it never, ever compares to the original, which I love. This is a new favourite for me. This is the Kat Berkey Vitamin C Nourishing Cleansing Balm. Uh... 100 mils. I got this in one of the Caroline Hyron edits or her um, Kitmas bags. They're expensive. This is this cleansing balm. So you can use it as a first cleanse for a night, you know, second cleanse steps. Um, but you can also just use this as a first cleanse in the morning. And it, although it's a balm, it's fine too. It doesn't give you that kind of greasy kind of taking, you know, your SPF and makeup off. It just feels very um, nourishing, but not like heavy. Um, and I, yeah, I didn't expect to think this was anything like amazingly, you know, life changing for me. But this is now really as a favourite. They're about eighty pounds, and actually in the UK, I just assumed I would be on Space and K or Cult Beauty. I don't think Space and K stock this. I think they used to previously. And Cult Beauty, I think most of their stuff was out of stock. Sephora UK, I believe, did have this on there. But it's about £80, or it's almost £80. It's a lot to be spent on it. However, that being said, if there was a really lovely gift with purchase, or I really wanted to treat myself and I'd used all of my you know, face washes, then... If I'm honest, I would buy it again, but it sure as hell is pricey for 100 mils. But it's beautiful, really lovely. The um, skincare freaks uh, kind of reselling or gifting, passing on products, I have joined on Facebook and I do keep a look out for it just to see if somebody has one that they're just not going to use um, and I can get it as you know like a cheaper price or... Um, like honoured at a, a kit price then I would jump at it but whenever I've seen it they're just gone you know you can't get there in time to be able to say yes please me I want it 
Um, okay, face mask. Let's do face mask, shall we? This is from Lush. This is the Hanami Fresh Face Mask. Um, this was in there, Fresh and Flowers, when I subscribed to that. Transport yourself to Yoshino Kasai, Japan's most famous cherry blossom destination. This was a lovely smell. Really nice. And this one, I think you only, yeah, it was 10, 15 minutes. It says, a cherry mask with fresh cherries to make your skin glow. Energy radiant from the Sakura rice vinegar with soya yogurt adds moisture. Yeah, this is a lovely one. Very nice. Got through that. I know, again, I'll keep that for taking back to Lush Recycling Scheme. Um, a couple of masks. I've got the space masks. These are nice and relaxing. You know, you just put these on, let them heat up. Very difficult for me to get time for these before I've either passed out because I'm so exhausted from the kids. But these are nice, a bit of self-care. So that is those. And then the other one I had was by Star Skin. It's called Eye Catcher Smoothing Biocellulose Eye Masks. These are the ones where they have a lot of backing from the front to the back. You know, different layers to peel off just to get to the eye mask. And the eye masks were so thin that when you're trying to pull, put them on, they just... Um, it's very, you know, they're not thick enough just to stay in place easily, so I wouldn't recommend them. You know, they were nice, but the the actual kind of fabric uh, was just too thin. Um, and there was a lot of protective layers that just kind of got in the way. It just felt a bit kind of messy. And there's lots of serum, I think, as well that came in that. But yeah, that is that. Um, toners. Jordan Samuel Hydrate the Mist, 120 mils. This is nice. This was a funny one for me because it wasn't anything all singing and dancing, but that being said, it was still fine and good and nice. Um, it was just, yeah, a nice spray mist I used after cleansing. Um, and it was very light. Yeah, it has all gone... I don't think it really had a fragrance to it, but it's very soothing, hydrating, and that's exactly what it needs, you know, it is hydrate the mist, that's what it's called. So yeah, it was great, I'll use it again, I'll probably buy it again as well. So yeah, that's that. Something else I've been using as a toner, this was by Liz Earl, 50 mils Eye Bright Soothing Eye Lotion. Um, it's got naturally active ingredients, Eye Bright, Cornflower, Witch Hazel and Aloe Vera. This one you can use if you have um, like allergies and you can, it's a herbal lotion to soothe and refresh tired puffy eyes. You can use it to remove like makeup, um, but you can literally just kind of hold it over your eyes. If you get um, hay fever or any kind of allergies with your eyes, this really helps to soothe and bring the irritation down. So I use it like that on my eyes, but then now I just use it as a toner because I found that I was getting these and I was just ended up hoarding them for the occasional time where I had um, you know, reaction of hay fever or allergies, and I thought actually just use them up as toners and just have the soothing effect on my eyes anyway. So that's that. Um, then serums. I've got four serums I've actually got through, which is quite exciting. Oh, this one I just had lurking around for ages. It must have been well gone off, but I just used the last dregs. The Alpha H. Vitamin A, 0 0.5 with evening primrose, 25 mils. Nothing to say about it, really. It was so old by the time I used that last bit. Um, but, yeah, I'm pleased I got through that. Then I had the Medicate C Tetra Intense Lipid Vitamin C Antioxidant Serum, 30 mils. This was fine. This was nice. What I would say is that um, it's not one I would use in the morning because... It, it, it was, you know, based essentially in like an oil serum. Um, so I would use it in, yeah, it's, it's, I prefer to use that kind of um, serum with that consistency in an evening. But as it was vitamin C, I wanted to use it in the morning. Yeah, and it does say to use it in the morning. So it would be when I didn't have to rush, I wasn't in a rush to do all of my skincare and get out of the house. It was one where I could take my time, put it on, let it absorb. 
and then go back to finishing off my skincare. But that is that. I do actually have another one in my stash. So for me, this will be better in the winter just because it's you know, a heavier, thicker um, consistency. So that's that. Another vitamin C actually, which I did really enjoy. This is by Murad Environmental Shield Advanced Active Radiant Serum. And this was it 30 mils? Yeah, 30 mils. I picked this up when I was subscribed to FabFitFun um in an edit edit sale i believe and yeah i think that i've got another murad serum here i think i noticed the difference in my skin not that you'd notice now i've got no makeup on i'm exhausted with the kids and just sleep deprived and everything else but i did really like it i'm generally not overly keen on vitamin c serums but i've got enough that i need to get through my stash and i'm trying to persevere with them um but this was a good one and you know i felt like i had it quite a while but there was no concern of it you know when it, the smell goes funny with it in c serums or they go um the color goes funny and it goes very dark or too orangey none of that so excellent product it is expensive but i was able to pick it up a lot cheaper from the fabric fun edit sales and the other murad one is called the Revitalixir Recovery Serum. This was 40 mils, so a big size again from a FabFitFun edit sale. And this says it's a revitalizing sphere infused serum, visibly re energizes skin, smooths stress lines, and re renews vibrancy. To use AM and PM, I used it in the PM. Um, and I'd massage it over my face, neck, um, my chest. And yeah, you could use it over your eyes as well. So it was a face and eye serum, which I did that. I don't know how well you can see. So it would have these encapsulated beads there. And unfortunately, those ones... So I don't know how it worked, but when you pumped, it essentially it would squish all those beads and get all of the products and the serum essence out of them. So you wouldn't see any of the dark purple colour. It was just like a normal serum. Although it did have a... A kind of I don't want to describe it this way but I don't know how else to say it um, when you have serums that have like extra products like quite sheeny or kind of almost like a bit shimmery it had a bit of that kind of look to it although I can't see that now but um, so it must be whatever was in the capsules when it pressed it I think it had quite a strong smell but it was you know nice pleasant not an issue just really smoothing, nourishing, hydrating. Um, yeah, so I was really impressed with Murad. That's those done. Um, so now I've got moisturisers and SPFs, and then we're done. Sorry, it's such a long one, isn't it? <clears throat> okay, Estee Lauder Daywear SPF 15, just a sample size, 1.5 mil. I've used this before. I had a full size of this when I was younger. I haven't used it for years i'd say um but enjoyed it although i didn't remember using it this time then i've got a couple of samples again from this is from clinique this is the dramatically different hydrating jelly it's the custom blend hydration serum so it had hydrating jelly base and active cartridge concentrates um for uneven skin tone so you'd squish number two into the number one pouch it'd come out there together and these were decent hydrating, moisturising. I enjoyed those. And I've got other variations in these samples, so I'll give them a go at some point. But, yeah, they were good. Nothing bad to say about them. Oh, I'm dropping those on the floor there. I've got a Tata Harper Superkind Fortify Moisturiser. It's a 10ml sample that I got through. This was a good, decent, nourishing moisturiser didn't feel too heavy it had a very nutty smell yeah <laughs> so I thought I must remember that it's got yeah it smells of like nuts yeah um but yeah it was nice it's obviously an expensive brand so I'd happily use it again didn't leave me feeling I need to run out and purchase it but if I'm honest, probably because of the smell. I reckon if the smell was different, I probably would have been more drawn to it than I was. It wasn't bad, but it was just 
A bit random, I guess. The nice smell for me. Um, I've got one from Ren. This is the Evercalm Range Global Protection Day Cream in 50 mils. Looks like that. And this was nice. I've had this before, I believe. Just, yeah, decent hydrating. Good for sensitive skin. Cruelty-free vegan. Nothing bad to say. Decent, just what you need for, you know, daily moisturiser. And then one that surprised me, actually, and I really do like, is by Zellens. So this is the Free Tea Complex Anti-Aging Cream, 50 mils. Um, when you open these, you have to use them up in six months. So I just used it as soon as I could. I took a bit of a break, actually, over the summer because it was quite heavy. Um, so this one, would for me, would be a best one in the winter time not in the depths of summer so i changed to kind of water-based serums i had another one from Murad which i've not got through yet and the tatcha water cream which is beautiful so this one it felt heavy and it felt you know it takes a while to sink in to the point where sometimes at night when i'd lie on my pillow it felt very tacky and still like it hadn't sunk in enough however that being said i really did notice a difference to my skin the glow and just hydration and moisturization when i woke up in the morning looked in the mirror was evident with this um i've got two sample sizes deluxe sample sizes um which i had in my stash and i've just gone on to continue using because i felt like it was doing good for my skin just to continue with that so one was 10 mils and the other's 15 mils so i've got those to come this is a 15 mil i'm uh, sorry 50 mil um, and this was from a Caroline Hirons Kitmas or Skin Rocks box. What I will say is it has a very distinct, I guess, selling smell. You know, which is nice. But also when I first opened it, sometimes I get with skincare products and moisturisers, almost like a pledge um, smell. You know, for what is it called? For... Um, you know, pledge polish. So I don't smell it so much now, but when it's full of product and I just opened it, that's what it reminded me of, which isn't a great smell, let's be honest, to have. Um, yeah, and now I don't really get that as much, I guess because the tin is all completely emptied jar, but I would recommend it. And this is expensive as well. But um, yeah, by the end of the product, I did feel actually... You know, I, I would consider buying that at some point. I certainly think as I'm getting older, that would be a better one for more mature skin. But yeah, really, really good. Um, I've got from the Face, is it Face the Future website? I picked up a, um, a box with different skincare items. I can't remember what it's called now. Was it the hydration box? I can't remember. But they had this, it must be, I think. This is a hydration um skin sorry water drink um oh sorry a, a kind of drink mineral you know that you add it to your drink so you'd have to add it to 400 mils of water and stir it tasted disgusting i think i've got two left to use and i'll use them but i certainly wouldn't be purchasing them um and then SPF, last couple to go. So, Super Goop Play, UVB High Protection SPF 50, Everyday Sun Lotion with Sunflower Extract 71ml, very water resistant. Um, you can use this on your face and body, and I used that, and that was fine, that was good. My favourite, favourite, favourite sunscreen now is by this brand, Ultra Violet SPF 50, Australian brand. This is the Supreme Screen Hydrating Facial Skin Care, Skin Screen, sorry, UVA and UVB Broad Spectrum, 50 mil. And I think this is my third one that I've used, second or third. I've got one on the go and I've got another in backup. And yeah, there's just nothing more that I can say. This is the best sun care, um, protection brand that I've ever used and I still try other ones but they just don't compare to it this is just brilliant again it's not cheap 
but it doesn't leave you feeling sticky and heavy with sun cream. This one is just light, nourishing, moisturising, great protection, non-offensive, non-sticky, non-tacky. Just they what they are completely winning with this brand and what they're doing. It's excellent. Anyway, I need to go and get a cup of tea. So that is all of my empties. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for bearing with me. Please do like and subscribe and I will see you all very soon. Um, probably for my Look Fantastic Beauty Box next. And then again next month in October for another empties, I'm sure. All right, thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.